Today I wanted to talk to you about something very near and dear to my heart. That's search engine optimization. Now SEO is a huge, huge topic. However, I'm going to talk to you about one specific little piece of it that I notice a lot of people miss. And that's going to be their channel tags. Channel tags are something that most people have to stumble across. What? Once they've stumbled across these channel tags, a lot of people don't even know how to utilize them. They work a lot like regular tags on your YouTube videos, except for it's more of the older system. Rather than being able to type in a word or multiple words and then hitting enter, you have to encase your tags or multiple word tags in quotation marks or limit them by using a comma. This is not the only factor used in search engine optimization for your channel. However, it's one that people routinely miss. Putting things that you routinely do on your channel, say tag videos, or if you have a core game that you play on your channel, like Minecraft, or if you're a tech reviewer, having tech reviews in quotation marks can help you out a lot when it comes to people discovering your channel or your content. Other things that will affect this are things like your channel name, which you can set your display name on Google Plus in order to be able to help out with this. You can also set your about page to attract people via search. Of course, you want to do that in a conversational and human readable way because Google's getting smarter. They read right now at, I believe it was a sixth grade level. So don't insult their intelligence. Anytime I start talking about tags, I feel the need to say, do not ever stuff tags where they don't belong. Tags are to be used where it's relevant. Never stuff random tags into your channel tags, your video tags, or anything like that. Everything should be in conversational English unless it's in a tags section. Even something being in a tags section does not give anyone the right or the ability to put things that are not relevant. For instance, my personal channel, though I know it might get me more views, doesn't have the words Katy Perry in them or wardrobe malfunction. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. If you've ever used this feature, or if you are just now finding out about it, I would like to know if it made a difference then, or if it's going to make a difference in the future. So if this works for you, if you are noticing a larger amount of traffic in your analytics coming from search, come back to this video. Let me know, because I have a million of these that I would like to share with you. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click Get More Views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click Get More CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom.